Convergent evolution describes the independent evolution of similar features in species of different lineages. Convergent evolution creates analogous structures that have similar form or function, but that were not present in the last common ancestor of those groups. The cladistic term for the same phenomenon is homoplasy, from Greek for same form. The recurrent evolution of flight is a classic example of convergent evolution. Flying insects, birds, and bats have all evolved the capacity of flight independently. They have converged on this useful trait. Functionally similar features arising through convergent evolution are termed analogous, in contrast to homologous structures or traits, which have a common origin, but not necessarily similar function. The British anatomist Richard Owen was the first scientist to recognize the fundamental difference between analogies and homologies. Bat and pterosaur wings constitute an example of analogous structures, while the bat wing is homologous to human and other mammal forearms, sharing an ancestral state despite serving different functions. The opposite of convergent evolution is divergent evolution, whereby related species evolve different traits. On a molecular level, this can happen due to random mutation unrelated to adaptive changes. See Long Branch Attraction. Convergent evolution is similar to, but distinguishable from, the phenomena of parallel evolution. Parallel evolution occurs when two independent but similar species evolve in the same direction and thus independently acquire similar characteristics a euro for instance gliding frogs have evolved in parallel from multiple types of tree frog. Causes in morphology, analogous traits will often arise where different species live in similar ways and or similar environment, and so face the same environmental factors. When occupying similar ecological niches similar problems lead to similar solutions. In biochemistry, physical and chemical constraints on mechanisms cause some active site arrangements to independently evolve multiple times in separate enzyme superfamilies. Significance Convergence has been associated with Darwinian evolution in the popular imagination since at least the 1940s. For example, Albert A. Rogers argued, if we lean toward the theories of Darwin might we not assume that man was, just as apt to have developed in one continent as another? In his book Wonderful Life, Stephen Jay Gould argues that if the tape of life were rewound and played back, life would have taken a very different course. Simon Conway Morris disputes this conclusion, arguing that convergence is a dominant force in evolution, and given that the same environmental and physical constraints are at work, life will inevitably evolve toward an optimum body plan, and at some point, evolution is bound to stumble upon intelligence, a trait presently identified with at least primates, corvids, and cetaceans. Convergence is difficult to quantify so progress on this issue may require exploitation of engineering specifications and comparably rigorous measures of very different course in terms of phylogenetic distances. Distinctions Convergent evolution is a topic touched by many different fields of biology, many of which use slightly different nomenclature. This section attempts to clarify some of those terms. Cladistic definition In cladistics, a homoplasy or a homoplastic character state is a trait that is shared by two or more taxa because of convergence, parallelism or reversal. Homoplastic character states require extra steps to explain their distribution on a most parsimonious cladogram. Homoplasy is only recognizable when other characters imply an alternative hypothesis of grouping, because in the absence of such evidence, shared features are always interpreted as similarity due to common descent. Homoplasis traits or changes can be compared with synapomorphy, autopomorphy, or apomorphies, derived traits acquired in all members of a monophyletic clade following divergence where the most recent common ancestor had the ancestral trait. Re-evolution versus convergent evolution, in some cases, it is difficult to tell whether a trait has been lost then re-evolved convergently, or whether a gene has simply been switched off and then re-enabled later. Such a re-emerged trait is called an atavism. From a mathematical standpoint, an unused gene has a steadily decreasing probability of retaining potential functionality over time. The time scale of this process varies greatly in different phylogenies. In mammals and birds, there is a reasonable probability of remaining in the genome in a potentially functional state for around 6 million years. Parallel versus convergent evolution 
for a particular trait, proceeding in each of two lineages from a specified ancestor to a later descendant, parallel and convergent evolutionary trends can be strictly defined and clearly distinguished from one another. However the cutoff point for what is considered convergent and what is considered parallel evolution is assigned somewhat arbitrarily. When two species are similar in a particular character, evolution is defined as parallel if the ancestors were also similar and convergent if they were not. However, this definition is somewhat murky. All organisms share a common ancestor more or less recently, so the question of how far back to look in evolutionary time and how similar the ancestors need to be for one to consider parallel evolution to have taken place is not entirely resolved within evolutionary biology. Some scientists have argued parallel evolution and convergent evolution are more or less indistinguishable from one another. Others have argued that we should not shy away from the grey area and that there are still important distinctions between parallel and convergent evolution. When the ancestral forms are unspecified or unknown, or the range of traits considered is not clearly specified, the distinction between parallel and convergent evolution becomes more subjective. For instance, the striking example of similar placental and marsupial forms is described by Richard Dawkins in The Blind Watchmaker as a case of convergent evolution, because mammals on each continent had a long evolutionary history prior to the extinction of the dinosaurs under which to accumulate relevant differences. Stephen Jay Gould describes many of the same examples as parallel evolution starting from the common ancestor of all marsupials and placentals. Many evolved similarities can be described in concept as parallel evolution from a remote ancestor, with the exception of those where quite different structures are co-opted to a similar function. For example, consider Mixotrica paradoxa, a microbe that has assembled a system of rows of apparent cilia and basal bodies closely resembling that of ciliates but that are actually smaller symbiont microorganisms, or the differently oriented tails of fish and whales. On the converse, any case in which lineages do not evolve together at the same time in the same ecospace might be described as convergent evolution at some point in time. The definition of a trait is crucial in deciding whether a change is seen as divergent, or as parallel or convergent. In the image above, note that, since Serene and 309 possess similar structures with an alcohol sidechain, the example mark divergent would be termed parallel if the amino acids were grouped by similarity instead of being considered individually. As another example, if genes in two species independently become restricted to the same region of the animals through regulation by a certain transcription factor, this may be described as a case of parallel evolution or euro, but examination of the actual DNA sequence will probably show only divergent changes in individual base pair positions since a new transcription factor binding site can be added in a wide range of places within the gene with similar effect. A similar situation occurs considering the homology of morphological structures. For example, many insects possess two pairs of flying wings. In beetles, the first pair of wings is hardened into wing covers with little role in flight, while in flies the second pair of wings is condensed into small holters used for balance. If the two pairs of wings are considered as interchangeable, homologous structures, this may be described as a parallel reduction in the number of wings, but otherwise the two changes are each divergent changes in one pair of wings. Similar to convergent evolution, evolutionary relay describes how independent species acquire similar characteristics through their evolution in similar ecosystems, but not at the same time. Examples Enzymes Protease active sites. The enzymology of proteases provides some of the clearest examples of convergent evolution. These examples reflect the intrinsic chemical constraints on enzymes, leading evolution to independently converge on equivalent solutions repeatedly. Serine and cystian proteases use different amino acid functional groups as a nucleophile. In order to activate that nucleophile, they orient an acidic and basic residue in a catalytic triad. The chemical and physical constraints on enzyme catalysis have caused identical triad arrangements to have evolved independently over 20 times in different enzyme superfamilies. 309 proteases use the amino acid 309 as their catalytic nucleophile. Unlike cystine and serine, 309 is a secondary alcohol. 
the methyl group of threonine greatly restricts the possible orientations of triad and substrate as the methyl clashes with either the enzyme backbone or histidine base. Consequently, most threonine proteases use an N-terminal threonine in order to avoid such steric clashes. Several evolutionarily independent enzyme superfamilies with different protein folds use the N-terminal residue as a nucleophile. This commonality of active site but difference of protein fold indicates that the active site evolved convergently in those families. Nucleic acids, as more sequence data are becoming available, there is growing interest in convergent changes at the level of DNA and amino acids. In 2013 the first genome-wide study of convergence was published. Comparisons of the genomes of echolocating bats and the dolphin identified numerous convergent amino acid substitutions in genes implicated in hearing and vision. Animals, body plans, a classic comparison is between the marsupial fauna of Australia and the placental mammals of the Old World. The two lineages are Cladiza euro that is, they each share a common ancestor that belongs to their own group, and are more closely related to one another than to any other Cladia euro but very similar forms evolved in each isolated population. Many body plans, for instance saber-toothed cats and flying squirrels, evolved independently in both populations. The same streamlined shape has been converged upon by fish, marine mammals and even the extinct ichthyosaur. This bodiplan is an adaptation to being an active predator in a high drag environment. It is also debated whether earless seals and eared seals are a single marine group, or represent two separate episodes of carnivorans turning to a marine environment. Flight, see also, evolution of avian flight, evolution of insect flight and evolution of aerial locomotion, a classical example of an analogy is the ability to fly in birds and bats. Both groups can move by powered flight, but flight has evolved independently in the two groups. The ability to fly does not make birds and bats close relatives. The ancestors of both bats and birds were terrestrial quadrupeds, and each has independently evolved powered flight via adaptations of their forelimbs. Although both forelimb adaptations are superficially wing-shaped, they are substantially dissimilar in construction. The batwing is a membrane stretched across four extremely elongated fingers, while the airfoil of the birdwing is made of feathers, which are strongly attached to the forearm and the highly fused bones of the wrist and hand with only tiny remnants of two fingers remaining, each anchoring a single feather. So, while the wings of bats and birds are functionally convergent, they are not anatomically convergent. Similarly, the extinct pterosaur also shows an independent evolution of vertebrate forelimb to wing. An even more distantly related group with wings is the insects, they not only evolved separately as wings, but from totally different organs, starting from a fundamentally different bodiplan. Eyes One of the most well-known examples of convergent evolution is the camera eye of cephalopods, vertebrates and cnidaria. Their last common ancestor had at most a very simple photoreceptive spot, but a range of processes led to the progressive refinement of this structure to the advanced camera eye a euro with one subtle difference, the cephalopod eye is wired in the opposite direction, with blood and nerve vessels entering from the back of the retina, rather than the front as in vertebrates. The similarity of the structures in other respects, despite the complex nature of the organ, illustrates how there are some biological challenges that have an optimal solution. Insect mouthparts Insect mouthparts show many examples of organs which can be used to study convergent evolution in the context of form and function. The mouthparts of different insect groups consist of a set of homologous organs, specialized to the function of dietary intake of that insect group. Convergent evolution of many groups of insects led from original biting chewing mouthparts to different derived function types. They build a proboscis at flower visiting insects for example, which are able to ingest food very efficiently or biting sucking mouthparts, showing different function mechanisms at different groups of blood sucking insects. Plants, main, evolution of photosynthetic pathways, convergent evolution is commonly noted when considering the morphology of animal species, but there are many diverse examples of the phenomenon in plant biology as well, such as the multiple origins of C4 photosynthesis. 
a true fruit such as an apple incorporates one or more ovules in their accessory tissues, but many edible plant-derived tissues commonly regarded as fruits actually arise from very different embryological structures. This implies a convergent process in which genetically unrelated precursors assume a common form under selective pressure, in this case the competition for seed dispersal through consumption by animals. See also, homology, haplotype convergence, isomorphism, catalytic triad, further reading, McKee, GR convergent evolution, limited forms most beautiful. Vienna series and theoretical biology, Massachusetts Institute of Technology Press, Cambridge. 322 pp, Rasmussen, L. E. L., Lee, T. D., Roloffs, W. L., Zhang, A., Doyle Davis Jr., G. Insect from Un and Elephants Nature 379, 684. Convergent Evolution Examples Ecological Equivalence, Department of Biology, Bellarmine University. Stearns, S. and Hoekstra, R. 2005. Evolution, An Introduction. Low, Nancy, Single Centers of Creation, Southern Spaces, November 30, 2009. McMenamin, M.A.S. The Garden of Ediacara, Discovering the First Complex Life. Columbia University Press. Map of Life via Convergent Evolution Online A Euro University of Cambridge. References